Okay, so this is the third video for exercise 10 and record we are recording the um, cash payments or CPJ transactions in the cash payments journal. The exercise again is SpongeBob services for August 2020 and in the CPJ we need to have analysis columns for bank, wages, stationary material costs and sundry. Go to our answer sheet. We're going to record our answers. Cash payments journal of name of business, SpongeBob services, dash, month, August, year 2020, CPJ 8, because August is the 8th month. We have analysis columns for bank, wages, stationery, and material costs, as well as sundry. We start with our first transaction. Paid the annual trading license by issuing a check in favor of the city of Cape Town for 300 Rand. Haven't given us a check number. When they don't do that, you just start with 001. So we're going to start with 001. This is happening on day two. We paid our annual trading license to the city of Cape Town. So name of payee, who are we paying? City of Cape Town. How much are we paying? We're paying 300 Rand. What is it for? It's for our trading license. So we look and see do we have a column for trading license? No, we don't. So we go to sundry accounts and we record that as trading license. Automatically, the next one will be 002. Have a look for the next date. Day three, bought the following from Patrick Star LTD Limited. 60 times televisions at 940 each, less 5% cash discount. Material 700, stationery 35, packing material 140. Okay, we are buying a, a, an appliance. Whenever we buy furniture appliances, that's called equipment and accounting. And we need to work out how much we did. We purchased 60. TVs at 940 Rand each, but they get a 5% cash discount. So if we're doing a calculation, we're going to want to say 60 times 940 on our calculator, and that'll give us 56,400. We then need to work out what 5% is so that we can remove that from the price. So if we then say 56,400 times 0.05 or 5% or times 5 divided by 100, we will get a value. Just get the calculator. 56,400 times 0, 0.5 or 5%, 2,820. Okay, so now we need to say 56,400 minus 2,820. That'll give us how much we paid for our equipment, but you should get 53,580. That's the value of our equipment. We also have materials, stationery, and packing material. So we need to say 53,580 plus 700 Rand plus 35 Rand plus 140 to get the total of our bank column. So if we add all four values together, this is happening on day three. We've bought from Patrick star LTD so 5, 53,580 plus 700 plus 35 plus 140 gives us 54,455 we now need to split it up into the different things that we have purchased we start with equipment there is no column for equipment so we're going to record it in sundry 53,580 Equipment. We then have 
materials for 700 we have a column for material costs stationery is 35 we have a column for stationery 35 and packing materials 140 we don't have a column for packing materials so we drop to the following line 140 packing material and make sure that we don't record anything else on that line so that we don't mix transactions up so check number 003 would be on the following line. We have a look. Bought a delivery vehicle from Squidward, Squidward Motors, 32,000 and paid by check. So we know who we are paying, we know how much we are paying, and we know the date, what do we call delivery vehicle and accounting? Hopefully you know that's vehicles. So we go to record this transaction. This is happening on day five. We have bought a vehicle from Squadron Motors, 32,000 Rand. We don't have a column for vehicles, so we have to go to Sundry and we'll record the 32,000 vehicles. Then 004. And our next transaction is happening on day 7. Paid the weekly wages by check, 380. Now we know wages are paid weekly, salaries are paid monthly. Wages are paid by cash, salaries are paid um, either by a check or EFT directly into your bank account. So um, wages are paid with cash. What happens is we write the word cash on the check, we hand it in the bank and they give us the cash in exchange so we're going to write cash under the name of payee it is for 380 rand for wages 380 we have a column for wages so we record it under the column next check number 005 we're on day 11 and the transaction says receive the cash invoice from larry t lobster for the following so we have received an invoice, we would have sent a check in exchange. We bought 10 television sets of 840 rand each. That's going to be equipment, one television for the owner's home, personal use, drawings, materials, 216. So we're going to have to do a calculation, 840 times 10, hopefully get 8,400. So we can start filling in some information. Larry T. Lobster, sorry. So Larry T. Lobster. How much money did we receive? Well, we would have had to have added all those values together. So with the calculator, you would have said 8,400 plus 1,300 plus 216. And you get 9,916. That's a total value for bank. We split it up into the different categories. We have equipment. There's no column for equipment, so it goes under sundry. And equipment was 8,400. We then look at the owner's personal television. Uh, the owner's home, that's telling us it's personal use. So drawings does not have a column either so we drop to the following line and we would record that as drawings we also bought materials for 216 rand so i make sure that i'm on the first line and 216 rand for materials i make sure i don't record anything else on that line 006 and we're moving on to day 14. Cash the check to pay the weekly wages, 420. Once again, when it's wages, we've written cash on the check. We get 420 rand, and it's for wages. Wages are the column, so we record it under the wages column. Check 007, we're now on day 15. We need to work out how many. Send to check the telecom to pay the telephone account. The business has two telephones and rental amounts to 37.50 per telephone. There are 612 units recorded 
is used at 20 cents per unit. So we need to work out how much we need to pay for the telephone bill. So there are two phones for the business at 37 and 50 per phone. So we're going to say 37 rand 50 cents times two. And that will give us 75 rand. So 75 rand is for the rental. Then we need to work out 612 units multiplied by not comma, 20 cents per unit and we get a figure of 122 rand comma 40 cents this is the first time we're going to line up having cents in our answer and that's okay you just need to make sure that you indicate the cents and when you're adding up all your columns you've not forgotten to add those 40 cents in so the total for our telephone account for the month is 75 rand plus 122 rand and 40 cents and if we add those two values together we get a total of 197 rand and 40 cents and that's how much we would have paid to telecom on day 15. so we are paying telecom 197 rand now i have a cents column here so i can just slot in the 40 cents quite easily if you don't have a cents column you need to make sure you record it as 197 comma 40 and when we go to send you again 197 comma 40 i have a cents column so i'll fill it into the cents column and that's our telephone okay just in case you're confused it's 197 comma 40 that's what you would record it as okay Check 008. A check for 720 Rand was sent to the city of Cape Town. 480 was for the rates and taxes of the business, and the remainder was for the owner's personal rates and taxes. So 720 Rand is the value of the check that we sent to the city of Cape Town on day 20. So we can put in day 20, day 20. We've paid city of Cape Town. How much have we paid them? We paid them 720 Rand. Um, that is for two things. We have the businesses, rates and taxes, which, which they tell us is 480. We don't have a column for rates and taxes, so we go to Sandry, 480, rates and taxes. Now we need to work out the difference. So we need to say 720 minus 480, and you should get an amount of 240. That's for the owner's personal rates and taxes. Anything to do with personal is drawings and accounting. We don't have a column, so it's going to be in sundry. So we drop to the following line, 240 drawings. We make sure we don't write anything else on that line. When we skip to 009, we are looking at day 21. Cash the check for the following. So we've got wages, we've got stationery, and we've got packing materials. So we need to add these three values together to get the total amount that we would have written on the check. It's a cash check, so we would have written cash under details. So with your calculator, you're going to add. 555 plus 71 plus 120 and you should get 746 rand so cash cash to check 746 rand what is that money for we have wages 555 making sure that i'm writing in the correct column and i'm on the correct line stationery 71 I just have a look that's our stationary column i'm on the same line and that is 71 rand and packing materials is 120. there is no column for packing materials so we in sundry 120 thing material we then move on check number 010 and we're looking at day 24. Sorry, not day 24, it's day 30. Okay, 
so if we have a look, we've done 21, 24 went into the cash receipts journal, we're recording day 30, paid the salary of the manager, Krusty Krab, by check, 1,450. So, the details, block number 010, day 30, who are we paying? Krusty Krab, how much did we pay? 1,450 rand. What is it for? It's for salaries. Salaries are not recorded with wages. They're recorded separately. We don't have a column for salaries. So we make sure we're on the same line. We go to our sundry accounts, 1,450 and it's salaries. Now it's the end of the month. We need to total up our columns. So you get out your ruler. We underline from bank to sundry above and below and we're going to fill in our total so i'm going to add up 300 plus 54,455 plus 32,000 plus 380 plus 9,916 plus 420 plus 197 rand and 40 cents plus 720 rand plus 746, plus 1,450, and I get an amount of 100,584 rand and 40 cents. And make sure I indicate my 40 cents. You just go comma 40. Go to my wages column. So 380 plus 420 plus 555 gives us an amount of 1,355. Stationary, 35 plus 71 gives us an amount of 106, 106 rand. Material costs, 700 plus 216 gives us an amount of 916. Then we add our last values, all the ones in sundry, 300 plus 53,580 plus 140 plus 32,000 plus 8,400, plus 1,300, plus 197 rand, 40 cents, plus 480, plus 240, plus 120, plus 1450, and we get an amount of 98,207 rand and 40 cents. So 98207 comma 40, if I add all of my other columns together, they should give me the total of bank. So I'm going to say 1,355 plus 106 plus 916 plus 98,207, 40, and I get 100,584 rand and 40 cents. And that's the end of our um, exercise. Uh, exercise 10, cash payments journal done.